You'd never think of squeezing a lemon in a press, would you? Nor would you call pressure a vice. But pressure is an interesting subject, so we'll take a crack at it. There's the pressure of business and the pressure of passion. Wow! Corn's in Egypt. Sometimes there isn't any pressure. Blimey, turn out wet again, ain't it? Yes, it has turned out wet. And it brings us to the point that a barometer is simply an instrument for measuring the pressure of the atmosphere. It was Torricelli, a Florentine professor of physics, who first measured the pressure of air. He found that it would lift and hold up in a vacuum a column of mercury roughly 30 inches high. In other words, the weight of the column of mercury is the same as that of the atmosphere. With air pressure low, the wind will restore it to normal. The glass falls, as we say, and if there is much wind, there's usually rain in its wake. It's fine just a little higher up. The siphon barometer is bent at the lower end, and it's on this that the air pushes. If we connect a pointer to the iron float and mark a scale at the side, we get a simple weather glass. A barometer is born. With an aneroid barometer, the air presses on a metal box and there's no mercury. As this section shows, increased pressure acts on a spring and the box is pushed in. That's fine. When rain is indicated, the process is reversed and it's cats and dogs. Air at sea level presses more than air high up because there's more of it. Up high, the pressure is less, and the gas inside the balloon makes it look an awful swell. You'll see how easy it is, then, to measure height with a barometer. Compare the high reading with the low. The best altitude meters are simple barometers. But whatever the barometer says, it'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> 